It is the time of year for some holiday music, and if your playlist is full of sweet, sweet harmonizing voices, then it is very likely you are hearing the glorious sounds of our guest today, the Pentatonics. The group is currently in the middle of their Pentatonics, a Christmas spectacular tour, and they have a special on Disney Plus that is now streaming. Somehow, they have managed to find time to sit with little old me. So please welcome to the show, Scott Hoying and Mitch Grassi of the Pentatonics. Guys, welcome. Hey guys. First, let's jump into the Disney Plus special. Disney is a dream come true for so many people. You've worked with them before. Um, how did this one come about? Probably we reached out to Disney 100,000 times because we all are such big Disney fans and it'd be our dream to have a special. And the original concept of it was actually we were going to travel to different countries, but because COVID happened, we had to do it virtually. But it ended up being cute. We were like, did this whole concept where we're stuck in a mail room and then we virtually go to all these places. It was really cool to see different cultures and how they celebrate their holidays and how they create music and collaborating with all these iconic artists was just, was a dream come true. And so how many stops? Uh, well, in the special, it was five. Well, I'm gonna say five. It was five stops in the special. And then for the album, we also did a world theme. And that was more than five. Mm -hmm. But like, it was so, virtual yeah. travel. So it was virtual travel. Was, we could go yeah. anywhere we want. Well, you guys are in the middle of your Christmas tour. Pentatonix is becoming synonymous with Christmas these days, right? Well, Scott, mm -hmm. tell me why you think the group and just people gravitate towards your holiday music. I think that Christmas music and harmony go really well together. A lot of like the classic nostalgic Christmas movies and Christmas soundtracks are from an era where there was a ton of vocals on the music. And so the fact that we're bringing harmony back and all our music is very harmony based, I think it just na is a natural fit for Christmas. Okay, favorite Christmas tradition, Mitch? You know, I always say this, but, <laughs> oh yeah, I used to do I used to do a Christmas show with my sister when I was a little kid. We put on like a little variety show for my parents. It was very cute. But I always say that my favorite tradition is getting a break at the end of the year and <laughs> spending time with my family. Resting and eating and, um, you know, just soaking up that family time. It's really crucial. What about you? Favorite Christmas tradition? Honestly, my favorite Christmas tradition now, it's a recent one. When I go home, I make TikToks with my family. And it's like an ordeal. There's like logistics <laughs> I involved. I can imagine. I keep everyone focused. Um, and it's so much fun. I, I love doing that. That is a super modern Christmas tradition. I like it. <laughs> well, you guys have had some epic collaborations. Jennifer Hudson. Miley Cyrus, Smokey Robinson, Dolly Parton, Kelly Clarkson, Stevie Wonder, and of course, Megan Trainer. Which collaboration left you wanting to really just pinch yourself like, oh my goodness, did that just happen? I would say Stevie Wonder. I mean, mm. legend status. I mean, everybody you named is a legend, but um, that was the one where I was like, I can't believe this is happening. Just... And he sang flawlessly. And that was one of my favorite performances we ever did, too. Honestly, you just reading that list was like blowing my mind. Same. I can't believe all the people we've collaborated with. That's so iconic, all of them. But, but the one person that like kind of stood out was Dolly Parton, just because she just feels like this untouchable goddess that, like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, like that we would never collaborate with. And I just like that was such an amazing experience. And she was so professional and fun and sweet and warm. Like she didn't even act like a famous person sometimes acts no, and, not at for all. how legendary she is. And um, it was just so cool. I love it. From the sing off to all of that, I like as a fan of the show way back when, I, it, it oh, does wow. my heart good to see that rise. <laughs> Let's do a little association game, guys. As we now know all about your special on Disney and knowing the love you both have for, you know, the people you've collabed with and Disney, I'm going to say the name of one of those powerhouses that we just list off. And I, I want you to tell me the Disney character that you think they are and whoever's first can just blurt it out all right so what character would you give kelly clarkson oh joy joy from inside out <laughs> this is so hard joy from inside out joy from inside out that's a good one i like yeah. that all right jennifer hudson i feel like one of the muses maybe oh for they sure I'm, I'm so sorry i'm blanking on all of the disney movies <laughs> <laughs> really oh, one of the muses from hercules Yes. Definitely. Oh, yes. With the hair and okay. like the Grecian gowns. I love that one. How about Jason Derulo? Simba in his like teen era. Yeah, totally. Or like a Prince Eric. Okay, okay. Well, Mitch, you have to answer this one. Stevie Wonder. Someone wise. I don't know if this is a Disney movie, but Oliver and Company. <laughs> all right, all right. Last one. And this is over to you, Scott. Dolly Parton. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this is a really hard game. It is hard. It's kind of hard, right? 
I have it. What? Mrs. Potts? Oh, no? I can see oh Mrs. that's Potts. cute. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, little Bo Peep from Toaster. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Well, it's over. You have passed this sure. SAT of podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Scott, Mitch, thank you so much for being here. Go buy <laughs> tour tickets and go watch their special on Disney Plus and go sing some of their holiday music with your loved ones. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you guys.